Ballard from The Big Bang Theory may have learned a few tricks from author Neil Strauss. He taught what he calls average frustrated chumps to manipulate the women they want. In his controversial bestseller, The Game, Strauss infiltrated a group of pickup artists revealing the secrets of seduction. One technique is called negging. He writes, quote, the purpose of a neg is to lower a woman's self-esteem while actively displaying a lack of interest in her by telling her she has lipstick on her teeth, for example, or offering her a piece of gum after she speaks. <laughs> Ten years later, Strauss is out with The Truth, an uncomfortable book about relationships. He opens up about cheating, monogamy, and how he changed. Good morning, Neil Strauss. Thank you. Speaking of uncomfortable after that introduction, <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can be but, but uncomfortable. But you've done yes. basically a complete reversal in this book. Yes, and the game, I was reporting on a culture that was there, not kind of coining these techniques that already existed, yeah. and I kind of popularized the ideas, though it's kind of sad that your contribution to the culture is people wearing ridiculous clothes. So on. you've had a change of heart. I'm bigger than that, a, com a complete transformation yeah. as to kind of who I was and what I thought was important to who I am now. And what brought that about? Um, I guess sometimes you have to hit a real low. And for me, it was meeting someone I cared about, being really in love with this person, or so I thought. Mm -hmm. Then cheating on her, getting caught, and you know, breaking the heart of someone who loves you and hurting her that much that mm -hmm. I started to think, well, maybe I'm just completely wrong about everything. Yeah, I mean, you said there comes a time in a man's life where he looks around and realizes he has made a mess of everything. And for you, that was Ingrid. Because not only did you just cheat, you were a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater of extraordinary proportions. You cheated with a friend of hers. And you even say, how could I have done that? Because you really did love this woman. Yeah, and, and exactly. And, 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 I, and I thought I was a nice guy. I thought I was a good guy. And then how can a nice guy or a good guy do this to mm -hmm. himself and to somebody? And so that just set me off on just almost, it's hard to explain, but really just trying to figure out what was, what was Neil, wrong. Neil, you did the work, though. You went, yeah. to, you went to rehab. Mm -hmm. You were right. there. You spent five years trying to figure yourself out, trying right. to uncover your demons, trying to be a better person. You said to learn how to be a real good human being. Yeah. And, and literally, I went to rehab. I found everything that was wrong with me and then thought they were all wrong and went ahead and still lived my life yeah. in a horrible way till I finally realized, like, you know what, man, just you got to have... Probably humility is the biggest thing mm -hmm. you can have to change. So what is the truth, as you title this book, right. about relationships? Did Written you... like a Bible, too, <laughs> right. Laura, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the fact that you make it look like a Bible, I think, is also very interesting. Yeah, and the game was a black Bible, so this is kind of a white Bible, mm -hmm. so it's sort of the, the, the bookend to it. And so the truth was, I mean, to me it's two things. One, it's the opposite of the game, like you were saying at the top, that the game is kind of manipulation, and what is the opposite of that is the truth. And secondly, it's kind of what you need in a relationship, if you look at the Ashley Madison scandal, you look at my relationship, your relationships, you know, you look at, you look at that and people are so scared to be honest with their partner because they are scared of what they'll think, mm -hmm. what they might do mm -hmm. to really show themselves and their vulnerability. You said that love is not about finding the right person, it's about becoming the right person, which I think is very powerful. What do you mean by that? That's exactly it, that everybody's trying to find the right person and they keep finding the same person. Maybe oh, they look yes, different yeah. heights, yeah. different yeah. shapes. Different pants. Right, right. Yep. They seem different. They seem different at first and they end up in the same yeah. situation every time mm -hmm. because their relationship, like as I learned, I would, could, would always blame the other person mm. until I had a look at it. It has nothing to do with them. It has nothing to do with their relationship. It's only in the way I relate to them. So how do you wow. feel about the rules that you um, put forward in the game? Do you... Oh, yeah. I mean, again, because the game was a... It was me, I worked at the New York Times as sort of a journalistic yeah, yeah. exploration of the culture. So even then I recognized there was a certain ludicrousness yep. to them, but at a much higher degree now. I think honestly, it's funny to say this to the guy who wrote the game, but on any, any type of manipulation, even whether it's Bob Woodward on earlier, mm -hmm. you know, talking about Butterfield, like any kind of manipulation yeah. is not a good thing. Right. You, you know, I, I, was, I was with a, a person who I think was very much like you. Right. And my, my mom used to say to me, a leopard doesn't change its spot, a tiger doesn't right. change yeah. its, its stripes. stripes. Yes. Right. Do you think it's possible for men to be monogamous? Do you think that that's possible? And do you think once you make a mistake like that, you can really course correct? Yeah, it's a big question. You did, yeah. but do you think most people can? It's a big question. First of all, you have to put the work in. Apologizing, saying you're sorry and never happen again is not enough. Apologizing until it's uncomfortable, you said. Uh, not, but Don't have a password on your cell phone. Right, yes, yeah. So okay. basically, trust can't, is something you need to earn back. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it takes time. You also have to recognize that the person who you cheated on has been not just hurt, but literally traumatized. Mm -hmm. It is a traumatic event, yeah. and they have to heal too. So. It's a long healing process for both people, but for Ingrid and I, like we can look back on it and the cheating was 
honestly the best thing that ever happened to us because mm. now we're in a real relationship. She knows everything about me. I know everything about her. We worked on the mother issues that I project under her. The, I mean, that yes, I project under her. The father issues she projects under me, and we really. It enabled us to have a real intimate relationship, which we would not have had otherwise. And Neil Rick Strauss. Rubin plays a key role. We got to go, but it's yes. fascinating. Rick <laughs> Rubin plays a key role. I'm going to have you sign this book to Great. my ex, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Read this. Really, you can really shape benefit up. from this <laughs> in his next relationship. Great. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you.